While extracting is a more prevalent deep cleaning carpet process, rotary shampooing is a highly effective option for restorative carpet maintenance. The purpose, like extracting, is to deep clean the carpet. This is done by using a carpet shampoo product paired with a rotary machine and a durable nylon brush. The machine holds the diluted product in a plastic tank and disperses the cleaner onto the carpet. The combination of the nylon brush and cleaner separates the dirt and grime from the carpet fibers. In preparation for the task, collect all necessary supplies and equipment. Inspect the equipment to make sure it is clean and free of leaks. A common mistake is to clean carpet with dirty equipment. It is recommended to utilize shoe covers during any carpet procedure. Next, confirm all caution signs are properly located and you have the appropriate personal protective equipment. Personal protective equipment requirements and all other necessary information are referenced in the safety data sheets provided by your chemical supplier. Review this information as well as any product labels for any safety or precautionary statements. Now it's time to prep the area to be shampooed. Like most restorative procedures, start by carefully removing all furnishings and walk-off mats from the area. Cover those items that cannot be moved and unplug all electronics. Once the area is cleared, vacuum the carpet to pick up any loose debris. Any residual material, such as chewing gum or tape, should also be removed. Be sure to survey the area for high traffic patterns or spots. These areas will need to be pre-treated with a traffic lane and spotter solution before shampooing. Review your product label for proper dilution and use directions. It's always best to pre-test all solutions being used in this or any procedure in a small, inconspicuous area. For best results, use a pump-up sprayer to apply the solution evenly. Now you are ready to prepare the shampoo solution. Begin by properly mixing the cleaning solution according to the product label directions. It is important to note that improper dilution can leave excessive residue on the carpet fibers, greatly increasing the likelihood of resoiling. Excessive foaming will also occur, which can extend carpet dry time and labor. Now it's time to agitate the carpeting using the rotary machine. A rotary floor machine can be difficult to manage. Make sure to test your comfort operating the machine in a central area before moving to the edges of the carpeting. Once comfortable, start by activating the trigger and moving the machine from left to right, overlapping each pass by six to eight inches as you are applying the solution. For best results, cover the area twice, rotating your direction on the second pass. As the carpet is agitated, foam will build on the surface encapsulating the soil in a crystalline residue. For hard to reach areas that the machine cannot access, simply apply the shampoo solution with a pump up sprayer and agitate the carpet with a nylon hand brush. Wipe excess foam from baseboards and doors using a clean, damp cloth or sponge. Once the carpet dries, vacuum the crystalline residue covering the area twice. Rotate your direction on the second pass. To lengthen the time between shampooing, apply a carpet protectant solution with a pump-up sprayer paying attention to high traffic areas. Doing so minimizes resoiling and increases vacuuming efficiency. Once the protectant is dried, return all furnishings to their proper locations. If time does not allow, utilize furniture tabs to shield furniture from dampness and prevent rust spots. Finally, rinse and clean all equipment prior to returning to the designated storage location. For additional product usage or procedural information, please contact your local sales representative.